Hi there everybody, I'm Malcolm from Android Supernova and I'll be going through with you the latest ASUS EEPAD Transformer 3.2 update which was released by ASUS about a week ago and um, some of the improvements that ASUS made was to the touchpad and uh, I'll go through with you right now. So um, right here, you can, as you can see, I have a wireless um, mouse connected to the transformer and if you can actually see the cursor it's still the standard issue um, arrow pointer cursor on the screen and however the moment that I use the touchpad it turns into a large circle reticle and some people in the forums have actually complained that this large cursor is actually quite ugly and annoying but there's actually a purpose to this so um, one of the reasons why ASUS has changed it to a large circle is because of the uh, multi-touch capabilities that they have added to the touchpad. So you can actually do um, some stuff like pinch to zoom and uh, scrolling from left to right. So um, right now the new way of scroll swiping the home screen um, from left to right is basically to put two of your fingers close to each other and then just swipe it across sorry eh? just swipe it across you know, left and right so this allows you to uh, go through each of the home screens very easily okay so the previous method of swiping through the home screens that most of us are uh, used to is to put two fingers apart and just swiping across the home screen which actually works still but it's somewhat difficult at least I find it somewhat more difficult so the best practice is to actually stick two fingers close to each other on the touchpad and then just swipe it across so this same gesture works in the browser as well so let's go on to the Dolphin browser for tab and uh, as you can see I've already loaded the Android Supernova home page so um, one of the changes that ASUS has made is that they have inverted the scrolling on the touchpad in the browser the vertical scrolling so um, right now in order to scroll downwards you have to swipe upwards like this you know okay and if you want to scroll downwards you have to swipe uh, from top to bottom so this gesture has been inverted and it's actually the same gesture that you would do as you would be touching on the home on the touch screen like this so you actually flip upwards to scroll down and you flip downwards to scroll up so it's the same operation in the touchpad as well so I think this is some of the major changes that ASUS has made and apart from that they've also added a pinch to zoom functionality as you can see here just pinch on the touchpad to zoom okay and you pinch back to zoom back out so the rest is pretty much standard okay and another addition that uh, quite a number of us are not aware of is that ASUS actually added an alternate tab combination to display the recent app recent apps so uh, this is just the same styling as you would see is in a standard issue windows um, alternate tab combination so you can actually scroll through your applications that you recently opened okay and then you just let go the alternate key and it just goes to the application that you have selected so another new addition that ASUS has added is that the ability to change the pointer speed okay sorry so uh, as you can see here they have added a new option called pointer speed in the language and input section you can change it from the default um, medium speed to something very fast as you can see my cursor now moves very very fast across the screen or if you're not comfortable with the kind of speed you can say something lower which 
allows you to turn the cursor to move ever so slowly so I prefer to set it at the default um, medium range so um, yeah so this is some of the uh, new changes that ASUS has made so uh, that's all for my presentation today thank you and hope you enjoy it bye